Hi, my name is Ethan Hein. Welcome to the Play With Your Music video on the use of audio effects and Soundation. Audio effects are things like reverb, delay, EQ, compression. They're special effects that you can use either to enhance the sound uh, or to change it, color it, make it sound odd, make it sound psychedelic. We're going to be exploring all of those things. So I have a blank Soundation session set up and we're just going to drag in some loops and apply some effects and see how they sound. So I'm going to use this sample called 90 Beat MPC Smooth. It's sort of a generic hip hop loop. I'm going to drag it into my track here. And I'm going to loop it. So we're going to be wanting to hear it over and over again. So here's the loop. Over here in the corner is the effects button. I'm going to hit the little plus to add an effect. The first thing that I'm going to try is Equalizer. So Equalizer allows me to cut or boost different frequency components of the sound. Um, pretty similar to what you'd see on a stereo or iTunes or really any music player. So what I'm first going to do is cut all the lows. And I'm going to cut the mids too. Now all that's left is the high. Sounds pretty thin, right? It sounds sort of like you're listening to it on a cell phone speaker. Now I'm going to restore the mids and I'm going to cut the highs. So now it should sound kind of muffled, like you're hearing it on, over the phone. And finally, I'm going to restore all the lows. I'm going to take out all the mids and the highs. So now it sounds muffled. It sounds sort of like I have a towel wrapped around my head. Just by reintroducing a little mid, it feels like the sound is coming closer to us. So EQ is actually a really powerful tool. It seems simple, but the key to making your stuff sound professional very often comes down to EQ. Uh, you want to make sure that different sounds fit together in the mix. So let's say, for example, I have, well, let's not have, be hypothetical. Let's actually bring in another drum loop. I'm going to bring in these bongos. Let's listen to that. So if I wanted these two sounds to be more distinct from one another, I might cut out the highs from my hip hop drums because the congas are pretty high pitched to begin with. I might go over here into my congas, add another equalizer, and cut out the lows and some of the mids and accentuate the highs. Yeah, so now the drum machine is sitting in the low end and the congas are sitting in the high end. And that way I can make both of them louder without having them compete with each other. All right, so I'm going to remove the equalizer from both tracks. And now I'm going to add some reverb. And reverb just makes things sound like they're in a giant cavernous space. And so you can hear it more clearly. I'm going to mute the, con the, uh, the bongos. So you can hear, right, how, uh, how now my drums sound like we're in some sort of giant cathedral. There are different presets. I'm going to choose huge tail, which is really over the top. Right, now it sort of sounds like we're in a dance club in the Lord of the Rings. This is a little over the top. Usually with reverb, less is more. Okay, so I'm going to remove the reverb. Now I'm going to mute the drums and just have the congos be separate. And I'm going to add an effect called compression. So compression takes the, uh, the loudest parts of the song, these peaks, and makes them quieter. Uh, the point of compression is actually to make things louder. It's a little bit contradictory, but uh, think, about, think about it this way. The conga is, is uh, mostly silence except for these peaks. 
And if I want the quieter parts to be more audible and I just turn the whole thing up, the peaks are going to start distorting. So instead, if I put compressor on there, the peaks will be quieter, but then I can turn the whole thing up overall without the loudest parts being excessively loud. And compression is especially important for things like vocals, bass, acoustic guitar, stuff that might easily get buried underneath louder sounds like electric guitar or keyboards or drums. So here's how the congas sound with compressor. And I'm going to turn the ratio all the way up. Let's try one of these presets. So you can hear, right, the congas feel louder. And I didn't turn up the volume. All that's happening is the quieter parts are louder while the loudest parts are staying at the same level. So again, very, very useful for things like upright bass or acoustic guitar. The next effect, and probably the last one that I'll talk about in this video, is distortion. So distortion is something that you most commonly use on the guitar, but you can actually use it on any instrument, and it tends to sound pretty cool. Right, so now, now it hardly even sounds like percussion at all, right? It sounds like some sort of futuristic, I don't know, synthesized drum. So there are all kinds of other effects in here. And the best thing to do is really just go through systematically and try them one at a time. Try the different presets, try twiddling the knobs, and see what you get.